So we would not say the day. I mean, we would not for me, my mind. I had it. This has this one match to you, said, but I'm going to be the man. We plead with everyone to help us trace my daughter. It's been very difficult for my family. I plead with government and everyone to help me locate my daughter. By now, you are familiar. Uh, that's a familiar cry that you know of. A passionate appeal from a helpless mother living with the pain of not seeing her kidnapped daughter. She's not alone. There are many other family members of the three girls who remain kidnapped by a Nigerian syndicate are still living with the pain each day. Although they have a suspect in their custody, police say they are working with Interpol to eventually apprehend four accomplices. My colleague Kujo Yangsen has been on this beat for us in Takrade and here's a wrap of the events so far. The Western Regional Police Command is handling perhaps the highest profile criminal investigation in its history. The three cases which together have come to be known as the Takrade kidnappings. So let me tell you the story so far. The first to be taken was Priscilla Bintum, a 21 year old student described by her family as calm, quiet and a devout Christian. It was over 24 hours after her disappearance that her father reported it to the police. This is because for the longest time, the family thought Priscilla was at choir practice. Four months later, on the 4th of December, the second victim was taken, Ruth Quason. Ruth is 18 years old. She took a cab ride from her home in Diabene to the BU Junction and was never seen again. The third victim was Priscilla Mantibia Crunching. Priscilla left home while her father was away, telling her younger siblings that she was taking a walk to Nkrofel nearby. She never came back from that walk. Now the police have had a suspect in their custody since December. Now I say in their custody, of course, that is minus the short period of time when he escaped from police custody and was captured again just a few meters away from his house. His name is Samuel Udoterg Wilson, a Nigerian national. Now apart from a couple of wild goose chases that he has led the police on, Mr. Wilson has given them literally no actionable intel. He refuses to cooperate with the police. Why we want the kidnapper? We want our sister back. That's all. Because they can't tell us that the kidnapper was jailed in a police custody and he was able to escape. Why? Why? So we want answers. So how are our girls? They are arrested. Where are our girls? We can't find them. We want our girls. That's, That's what That's why we are Whether they the be been arrested or whatever. When they arrested him first, he consent that he was So why is it that? They didn't force him to go and bring the girls. They didn't do anything here, he escaped and he asked they've arrested him. What give us the assurance that we will get our girls? That is what we want. It's not just sitting at their office giving us assurance. They should come to the community. They should educate us. They should team up, team up with NCC. Tell us their mode of operation. The people, how do they, do they operate? How are they kidnapping the guests? <laughs> A search conducted around the building where he was recaptured. They found the dress, the headgear of the the headgear, the rubber slippers the third victim wore when she was kidnapped. This clue gave the police a strong belief that the accused is connected to the crime. In all instances where the accused kidnapped the three victims, it was observed that he has struck an acquaintance with the victims for some time because the call. History shows that he was in constant communication with some of them, all of them before the kidnapping would take. The accused contacted the victim several times through mobile phone communications. He promised the first and the second victim with jobs, while the, he promised the third victim with a mobile phone. Police have discovered some gadgets from the accused for investigation purposes and has been forwarded to CID headquarters for analysis. The accused person earlier made mention of four persons alleged to have being involved in the kidnapping. The police have made strenuous efforts to arrest these suspects from their hideout group, but it proves to that. We realize that it was, we will send you to a house and say, the people are here, you go, nobody will be traced. Police are still vigorously searching for the kidnapped girls. 
the general public, public is urged to come forward with credible information leading to the rescue of the victims. We are also appealing to the parents of the victims to stay calm as police is working around the clock to rescue the victims. Now, the families of the abducted girls are really not happy with the police. From their perspective, the police have botched the investigation and at all times been economical with the truth. As, as I am speaking to you, it's been 17 days since they re-arrested the guy and up to now they haven't been able to get any good information from the guy. Then that means they are not doing enough. I'm, I'm wondering if it was to be a great person in Ghana or a great person in Takwadi like the MP's daughter, is that how they're going to treat the case? Because what they are doing, we just don't get it, we just don't understand it. The last time I spoke to them was last week, Monday, before the Wednesday that we, go, we went to the court sitting here. We went to the DCP, regional office at Sekindi, but he wasn't around. So we spoke to one DOP, Mr. Aipa. Then he told us that they are still on it. The guy keeps giving them wrong information. On the 31st of December, he called us, telling us that we, we, are, we are very funny because those policemen that we are giving the, we reported the case to, they cannot do anything to solve it. So if we want our sister back, we, just, we should just obey what he will say, then send the money to him, and we should forget about the police people. Oh, crazy be that, but why is crazy? Oh, I'm a mama day, mama kind there. Because in Yamina Yimino, in Fapim, or a duckle, not the Koso, yeah, in Fapim. Now you put in your dono, near Hundo or well, but in Yamima day, or a duckle. The police, however, insist that they are on top of the issue and are confident that they will get to the bottom of this bizarre mystery. You have established some evidence to show that you cannot get these uh, victims then you can, before you can even uh, have them gazetted and you publish. Are you restricting your search to Ghana or to the sub-region? Or, or, or expanding it to the sub-region? Sub because uh, we cannot receive ourselves only to Ghana. This is Nigeria who is involved, so we don't know what happened. Uh, you say you cannot torture him to get information. Understandable, because the law is against that. So I'm just wondering, have you reached out for help in the Western region? The Ghana police have this big institution to try other means of getting this gentleman to speak, the psychologist, etc. What else have you tried? We are still investigating it. So we don't do for me to put it saying all that we have done. This is not just an ordinary case being investigated. Normally, if you look at uh, international on the international arena, crim, uh, kidnapping cases are done by professionals. People who actually know what they are about. So when you have not gotten to a certain level of your investigations, uh, you put out pictures there. We are looking at the social, uh, the psychological aspect of that thing. Okay. The stigma that is going to, you know, she, she's an university student. Mm -hmm. So as we are handling her, uh, her issue, you must be a little bit circumspect. So that, what stigma exactly? Um, I mean, people who said, how, how come you, another 21 years university student, you will allow yourself to be kidnapped? That's, well, that's the reason why? No, that, that, that's not the only reason. And uh, you go to the, she gets back to school, people are looking at you, uh, they'll be pointing, no, it is psychological trauma. People will be pointing at you, uh, that's the lady that, that uh, got missing. That's so is that the standard police procedure, that when a, there's a missing person, you don't put out a photo? A missing person and kidnap are two different issues. Okay, so when In, there's a kidnap? Yeah, it's kidnap, you, 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 you don't put out immediately, you must get some facts before you do that. If it's a missing person, it is only a matter of declaring a missing person. Then you publish the piece. But this one is beyond just a missing person. Uh -huh. So where does this leave us? The family members are very disappointed in the police. They think their cases would have been handled better if they were prominent members of society. So they're calling on the president to intervene or lose the tardy vote. Say. Uh, 
and for call banner, must have you on them back one and a caracutia. I have a bee scared a co. When I ba, obey the obey the hotel, the Bibia, I had a way in Bokoran, I had a Miss Anno, you pop couldn't work to wire the mad with a man, I'm ya. Me again, I am Morgana. Ah, me ba. Our gunner, how the bee, I mean, I know who you are, where you are gonna have. Let's say one customer, I'm not there. Young, young gunner, I know. As for the police, we've said a lot to them. Now, my problem is the president of Ghana that he should set his feet up because this thing can even let him lose some votes in the Western region. Because as for me, I've decided that not to vote again because. In this, all the way with all the things started, by now I'm sure that they have learned what is going on in the Western, but it seems they are not showing any much concern about the situation. Meanwhile, the clock is ticking, and the Western Regional Police Commander's reputation is not the only thing on the line here. So are the lives of three innocent girls. So will the authorities be overwhelmed by the sophistication of this kidnapping cartel, or will the police prevail? and bring back our tardy girls. Only time will tell, and there's not a lot of it left. Ivans Danso is the brother of the chief of Aseke, and as a leader of this community, he also has some thoughts on the presence of Nigerians amongst them. Uh, Mr. Danso, thank you for speaking to us thank you my brother uh, so what's the problem these nigerians have lived with you for some time now uh, why is it now a problem oh. in fact to me uh, my little problem is nigerians they are brothers once we are in uh, ECOWAS community they are brothers and we have some brothers Ghanaians, who are also living in nigeria and what is happening now is a very serious problem because uh, to kidnap somebody is a very serious matter of which the whole committee have to be very, very careful about it. Mm. So I'm saying this because uh, to take somebody's child for a week or two weeks or three weeks that the person doesn't know where the child is. It's a very serious matter. There's a lot of emotions going around. For the parent, it's sadness. Well, mine is not. It is anger. In the meantime, the minority spokesperson on the interior, Jim Sagaga, has revealed that some members of parliament have filed urgent questions seeking to drag the ministers for the interior and national security to parliament over the kidnapping of the girls in Takwade. Speaking to Raymond Akwa on our front, the former deputy interior minister explained that they chose to file urgent questions so that the grilling of these ministers will not be done in camera. There are a lot of things the committee does that usually doesn't come out in the public I domain. See. So you a are lot saying... of things happen behind the scenes. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we call the ministers responsible for security to appear before the committee and give us security briefings. Mm -hmm. You don't expect us to come out and openly discuss security briefings if, if the need doesn't arise. So for instance, so if one, 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 one kidnapping case happens, yeah. One kidnapping case happens, and the police are in pursuit of the matter to try to unravel the mystery surrounding it. That is an isolated incident. It will not gain the prominence that it ought to gain. Mm -hmm. But if there is a repetition, a second kidnapping, a third kidnapping, and this then, case, then of them, absolutely, yes. then, 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 then it, it, the matter then ought to engage national attention. At that point, the committee 
necessarily would intervene. The committee wouldn't intervene when just one incident, one incident has happened. Okay. And the police are investigating. You wouldn't expect the police to Correct. intervene. We wouldn't be talking about we committee. wouldn't be talking about contract killings yes. if, if if it was restricted to only one. I get your point. Absolutely. But, but has your committee So so there is no dereliction there is no dereliction whatsoever oh, no, on the no. part of the that committee. That can be proven in this case. Has the committee invited the Minister for Interior, the IGP? Remember to come and tell remember you this that matter? the committee itself mm -hmm. hasn't been active <coughs> because Parliament went on recess. Uh, but no, 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 no. Wait, wait a minute. Wait have a minute. Called from wait recess a minute. To wait, and do it matters before. Wait, wait a the minute. most recent one wait was when they had to go and interrogate the banker's scandal. Raymond, wait a minute. Wait a minute. We all went on recess. Yes. Me some members traveled out of the jurisdiction. Some other members went to their respective constituencies. You couldn't wait, establish wait, quorum. Is that, wait, is that wait, your excuse? Wait, wait. When the Ghanaian lives that you no, sought to I protect land? in can this I, case are can there. I, can I land? What can you're I land? telling me is that we can couldn't I, establish no, no, quorum. Can, they I land? The can I land? Now, Raymond, I'll, listen, I'll, yes, listen. I'll they, they mandate mm -hmm. to provide for our internal security. Yeah. It's vested in the executive arm. Oh, uh, wait a minute. I guess I'm not doubting uh, that. Vested in the executive arm. The president and his executive arm mm -hmm. are the ones responsible for providing and maintaining the security of the country. The role of parliament is to oversight them. Yes. Now, when you are performing oversight, tell me, there have been lapses. Seven girls have been abducted. The committee will meet at an appropriate time to interrogate the security ministers. In doing so, in doing so, you need to gather sufficient facts with which to confront the ministers. James Agaga is a minority spokesperson on the Committee for Defense and the Interior in Parliament. Well, let's go to uh, Kojo Yangsen, who is joining us over the line uh, from Takwade. Hello, Kojo. Kojo, let's start the conversation by addressing this new uh, information we, we, we had today uh, concerning uh, a possible kidnap of another person. Can you confirm this? Well, I went straight to the Western Regional Police Headquarters to seek confirmation of this. I spoke to the regional commander, and they made phone calls to Kwesimintim Police Station, where the, the allegation... Uh, stated that a police report had been made. They checked with the Kwesimintim police station and all neighboring police stations, and they found that no such um, re kidnapping report has been made to the police in Takrade. So uh, we, are, we have not been able to confirm that er, there is a police report of such a kidnapping. Uh, now, our Western Regional Correspondent in Natalia has been following a lead, hopefully to lead her to the family member who is making this claim. And uh, we will continue to uh, monitor that to see if um, the family member can give any details that will substantiate mm. this claim. Certainly, we'll be looking uh, forward to it. But you've, you've also been doing some checks. Now, one of the things that a lot of people are baffled with, Kojo, is how on earth this gentleman was arrested w but was able to break jail. Indeed. And I've learned a number of rather <laughs> confusing details about... Uh, his original arrest, his escape, and then his second, uh, you know, subsequent arrest uh, after that. Mm -hmm. Now, when he was originally arrested, my sources in the Western Regional Police uh, tell me that he was not alone. He was uh, with a group of people. Now, unlike what happens in other cases, you know, when the police are investigating some sort of crime and they chance upon some zungu or some uh, some deprived community where an individual suspected of committing a crime is lodging with others, and they would round up the whole group, bring them in for questioning, and then, you know, eliminate those who are not involved. Mm. In this case, this individual was the only one arrested. All the others were left to go free. And then how do the police uh, explain that? Do they say that he was the only one now, arrested because they went there specifically to look for somebody, so they knew I what have, they were going for? I have sought um, some response from the police, but uh, the, the, the officers I have spoken to are not willing to go on record on this matter. 
Right. Um, yeah, so I haven't been able to get an official response to this. It's something that we really do need to question. Uh, but um, also, the, the other detail that is confusing is that after he was arrested, while he was being kept in custody, uh, the, he wasn't speaking. He wasn't uh, being forthcoming with information. So they decided on a rather strange strategy of isolating him, keeping him alone in the cell, mm. and leaving only one person to uh, have contact with him. Uh, uh, that, that arrangement continued until the day he escaped. And after he escaped, it was the same person who then came by information of his whereabouts uh, after um, communicating with a person who is described as his girlfriend, who led them to his whereabouts mm. in an uncompleted building not far from his uh, known residence. Again, when they went there to pick him up, three police officers went there. He was in the company of others. And again, he was the only one who was arrested. Mm. And now the police tell us they are looking for his accomplices. So it makes you wonder why they didn't consider that those people he is with might have been his accomplices, but are now seeking these individuals. The police say they are looking for four people who, uh, who are supposed to be his accomplices. All right. Uh, it, it is baffling, you see. All right. So, the, like you indicated, the police is not willing to go on record with any explanation uh, as far as this bit uh, concerning how he was arrested is concerned. But how is Takrade at the moment? I mean, has this situation made it calm? Are the people angry? What's the emotion? What's the mood like there? There is a certain heightened sense of personal security among the uh, citizens of Takrade that I have interacted with. They are all sharing tips with each other about how to stay safe, uh, how to keep children safe. Uh, there are people in communities who are sharing WhatsApp messages about uh, what time the bus will arrive to pick up the kids so that if any other, if, if the bus hasn't arrived by a certain time, they can pull their kids back home and keep them safe until the bus arrives and, and so forth. You know, so people have become conscious. This, these kidnappings have become a, 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 a part of their reality here in, in Takrade. And it is a sad reality that they have woken up to. But it has certainly made them a lot more wary of each other and especially of strangers. Mm. You've also been interacting with persons who live in the Nigerian community, could you, uh, yesterday. And yesterday we tried to get uh, a bit of that conversation as well. Um, the, the, the Nigerians who live alongside the Ghanaians and vice versa, what, what kind of... It looks as if we lost a Kojo there. Uh, but, well, well, we'll raise him up. Uh, nonetheless, he's given us, a lot, uh, given us a lot of good information, but we'll be getting to him in our subsequent bulletins for more of what's happening there on the ground. But, of course, here at Multimedia, we've taken this matter up. We're not keeping quiet about it until these girls are found. We're putting in a campaign. The hashtag, again, is bring back Atari girls. And this is a hashtag that you want to uh, uh, join. This is a hashtag that you want to follow on social media on all our social media platforms in fact the hashtag has been trending so join in the conversations in the meanwhile uh, the conversation in the meantime we here at join news have been putting together a video that's seeking to bring back our girls and the message is if you see something say something to somebody help us find the girls there's a lot of emotions going around for the parent is sadness well mine is not it is anger and I expect you to be angry. The kind of anger that is required for state agencies to act swiftly. In the meantime, we're still looking for the girls. See something, say something. Our thoughts and prayers at this moment are with the families of the victims. And we also call on relevant state agencies to expedite action, double the effort to ensure the safe return of these girls. Imagine the agony of losing a sister or a friend. Where is the hope? Where is the love? See something, say something. We need to find our girls. Imagine waking up one morning with a dream, with a hope, and then sometime during the day, somebody just kidnaps you, and all these dreams are extinguished. This is what has happened to three young girls in the second day in Takrade Metropolis. Their families are agonizing, their communities are distraught, and the nation is seriously looking for them. We need your help. If you see something, say something. If it happened to anybody who was in authority, like maybe a minister, uh, somebody big in society, Kasi Sembre, done. 
Sometimes these things make you feel like they don't regard the 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 uh, like the very ordinary, you know, people, Ghanaians. You get power or you're in a place of authority and then that's it. You're comfortable and nobody else matters. That is how sometimes we feel and nobody feels secure. Nobody feels like they are safe. It's such a tragic thing, you know. Sometimes you hear these things and you see them in movies or you listen to it in the news and it sounds very far. But to think that it's happening here in our country is very disheartening. It shouldn't happen. And so I, I'm, I'm asking that the authorities involved should make every effort to get our girls back. You know, these are girls that have a future. Bring back our tardy girls. Bring back our tardy girls. Bring back our tardy girls. Bring back our tardy girls.